Today I'd love to share with you something from Brene Brown. I find her so inspiring because she talks about the things that we're most uncomfortable to talk about. Shame, guilt, vulnerability and belonging. Something that I love about this book in particular, The Gift of Imperfection, I've read half of it so far, it's a really easy read. She talks about how it's a need for all men, women and children to belong. One of the tricky things about belonging is because it's something we need, sometimes we'll try to fit in in order to feel like we're enough. Whereas if we're thinking, I need to find my place of belonging and know that I am enough, you will show who you really are. Some people aren't going to like that and that's okay, whereas others will. It's about cultivating the ability to be imperfect, set boundaries and be vulnerable. Having compassion, knowing that we all have strengths and weaknesses and your nurturing connections and knowing that you are enough. Authenticity demands wholehearted living and loving, even when it's hard. Even when we're wrestling with the shame and fear of not being good enough, and especially when the joy is so intense that we're afraid to let ourselves feel it. That's interesting. So it's not just about the negative, it's about letting ourselves enjoy life as well. Mindfully practicing authenticity during our most soul-searching struggles is how we invite grace, joy and gratitude into our lives. What I found interesting as well is for men and women what the idea of masculinity and femininity is. So for women, it's really a struggle to speak up because you're afraid of hurting other people. And basically the idea of femininity is being thin, quiet and nice. So as attractive as you can be, as quiet and polite as possible. So being authentic when that's the social structure that you're in is very tricky. And for men, it's about being in a power role at work being in control of your emotions and even in control of, other, of women. So the social construct doesn't allow for authenticity. If a man is more respectful and in touch with his feelings, he might have to bury that. This is Brene's caution about not being authentic. If you trade in your authenticity for safety, you may experience the following anxiety, depression, eating disorders, addiction, rage, blame, resentment and inexplicable grief. The definition of shame is feeling like you're not enough. It's not guilt. So guilt is I've done something wrong. The shame is basically saying I am wrong or I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. So these are the questions if you want to kickstart your shame resilience is what she calls it. Who do you become when you're backed into that shame corner? How do you protect yourself? Who do you call to work through the mean nasties or the crying hides or the people pleasing? What's the most courageous thing you can do for yourself when you feel small and hurt? Figuring out the answers can change your life. And I love that she mentions to talk to people that have earned your respect, people who you trust to show your vulnerability with. Because if you do go to someone that hasn't earned your trust, then you could end up in a downward spiral and not get out of that shame cycle. By naming shame and talking to people we trust, we minimize it. Then that's out of our way and we can actually focus on what we really want in our lives and cultivate that. Who can you speak to to minimize that shame? And who do you become? How does it feel in your body when you are in that shame spiral? Because everybody experiences it sometimes. Hi, Lana. <laughs> so I hope you have a fantastic week and empower yourself to belong but being authentic and belonging to the right crowd not conforming because you think people need you to say certain things or act a certain way so you feel safe basically to be inauthentic you're going to feel unsafe anyway so the best thing you can do is show up as you are and attract the people that are going to enjoy that regardless of your flaws because we're all imperfect take care